Oh boy, Sunday edition of the 30 Minute Musings. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking me out. Whether you got the uh, minimalistic shit on Spreaker, or if you got the big boy recording, the full deal, that's going to stay there as long as possible on the YouTubes. Woo! Boy, today it says 97 degrees, and I fucking believe it. Believe that, player. Yesterday, when I went shopping, they had my fit of idiotic road rage. Well, no, I had to deal with idiots. I was full of rage because of the idiots. Uh, that said 97 as well, but I didn't feel that 97. Today, yes, yes, this is much more. Now, maybe that rain coming through yesterday, that small... I wouldn't even say there was a storm. A little bit of rain came through, maybe the clouds, something. But goddamn, this wide open heat... I mean, there are cloud, but it's just the sky's way more open today. Inferno. I mean, literally, when you open up your fucking, uh, your car door, and you can see, like, the heat waves, ho, oh, shit. That's some hot shit, boy. Goddamn, so hot you could cook a hog's ass in a quarter teaspoon. That's damn hot. That's goddamn hot. Whew. You could bottle it up. Well, you could. It would just have to be lava. It's pretty damn hot. Moving beyond that. What do we got today work-wise? Heading in for a ball game, of course. I think it's the uh, the wrap-up with... Well, sorry, not the wrap-up. This series wrap-up with the Atlanta Braves. Got that to work on. it because it's a roadie, Atlanta, are they central time zone? I, I always get confused. Because I know that Georgia's, like, right there, but it might not be right there. Well, I know Atlanta's, like, northwest Georgia. But, well, time zones, whatever. This, uh, normally the Sunday games start at, like, whatever, 1 o'clock on the East Coast. This one started up, I think they said, like, it's 4.30 or some shit like that. Really weird. I know there was a change. It was only like five minutes. It's like we launch at 4.40 instead of 4.35 or something like that. I don't know. Which basically means a five o'clock first pitch, roughly. Oh, boy. Give me some of that AC. And thank God, I don't mind being parked at a red light when I'm in the shade. That's fine by me. Woo! But that's work stuff. Um, Did a workout today did pretty well with it, went with, I don't even remember what the fuck I did, was it uh, eccentric upper, was not incinerator, I don't think, I forgot what the hell I did, wasn't triometrics, because that's more, that would kill my back, a lot of squat and lunge maneuvers, what the hell was I doing today? Well, I guess it doesn't matter, but I did it. I did not do the cool down at the very end, though. Oh, cool down, stretch, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, raise up the arms now, reach your arm over, stretch to the side, and reach back up and stretch over to the other side. Ah, don't need that crap. I had to eat, I had to jump into the shower, I had to do all that mess. Look at that guy in his Crocs and his fucking plaid. They look like boxers. Not even, like, shorts. Not even, like, what do they call those Bermuda... Not, well, Bermuda shorts, I think. Jeez, like, I have boxers that are, like, that short. And that sort of plaid-ish checker pattern. This guy's walking around in those. And some Crocs. There, there's one thing. If there's one thing I can't stand... Crocs. I've already talked about flip-flops, and I think they're lazy as fuck. Certain sandals. It's mainly I have a problem like with guys or, or people that are like that have cankles. You know, cover up your hooves, would you? Just, just no one wants to see your fucking. No, no. I mean, even if a girl's got cute feet, it's like yeah, but you're wearing flip flops. That's just lazy to me. I don't know. Just a pet peeve. I know we live right by the fucking beach, and I'll allow that. Like, if you're around the beach, if you're like, oh, yeah, we went to have a couple of drinks uh, at quarter deck, 
it's right there, right on A1A. It's right on the fucking beat. Fine, yeah, you're out there wearing flip-flops, fine. But if you're out, like, you know, shopping at Costco when you're wearing flip-flops, the Costco's that I go to ain't nowhere near the beach. Just lazy. So Crocs again. Crocs are worse. Crocs are worse. Those should just be fucking outlawed. They're just terrible. There's one thing I can't stand. Yeah, there's a lot of things. You'll notice there's just a lot of venting, all these 30-minute musings. I mean, like I said, I hope it's comical to you. But I get so fucking pissed off. Have not seen an out-of-state plate yet either. Trying to keep you tuned in with that one. Work-wise, workouts, I did all that shit. Just been sitting around uh, at home last couple day well yesterday other than shopping just sat around really playing video games kind of getting myself ready with certain things i mean trying to work on other stuff too if if well i got time for it it's just you know what am i what am i chipping away at today no production meeting yesterday no production meeting today hopefully getting one in tomorrow granted after i work but that's just that's a little better for everybody else We don't, uh, we don't have a clear direction for tomorrow, which I gotta text, uh, text people about that one, see what the fuck are we going with. Because I, Lee, hey, if there's somewhere we need a little bit of heavy research involved, I, I can chip away with that shit, because, you know, hey, come on, come on. I had all day yesterday, today, even when I'm at work, I'll be doing some homework and research. Goddamn right, working while I'm at work. It's what you gotta do. But I'll get a hold of them and see what's what. The fuck was that? Hmm. Just rolled over something. It looked like a newspaper, but when I ran over it, it almost clunked around. Like, I don't know. Maybe it just hit something perfect. Anyway, I don't hear any rattling. And I don't apparently, uh, don't appear to have a fucking flat tire, so it ain't that bad. We'll wait, though. It'll bite me in the ass eventually. Um, what else? Production meeting tomorrow. Motorcycles flying by. There you go. Of course you heard that. Another guy with a... with a cup asking for money. Doesn't look like he's got a fucking tooth in his head. Can't go along with that. Sorry. Can't do it. You already got a Pepsi. Why do you need a fucking drink for me? Or any money for something? Can't do it, sir. Keep walking. Sounds brutal, I know. But it's so common down here. And hey, if I give one of them a dollar, then I gotta give the next one a dollar, and the next one... And so I just don't make that kind of money. And even if I did, I don't know where the money is going for, what it's uh, contributing to. Sorry. Not gonna do it. Hmm. What else is going on? Oh yeah, just been sitting around playing games, getting myself ready for uh, any video gamers out there that know of the Fallout series. I believe I commented on this in a previous recording. Fallout 4 is to launch, I think sometime November, if I saw it correctly. Post-apocalyptic kind of video game. Not quite first-person shooter, not quite third-person shooter. Kind of survival-ish, you know. You're out there in the wastelands and shit. I don't know what that guy was yelling at. But yeah, post-apocalyptic blah, blah, blah. It takes place roughly in the Boston area this time around. But I'm, I'm getting myself through Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas to get myself ready for it. Get myself amped up, get myself in the mood for some post-apocalyptic you know, super mutant killing and all that shit. Ghouls. Gotta kill them too. Well, not all of them. See, ghouls in that game, they sound, oh my god, vision. The feral ghouls are the worst. But regular old ghouls, they've just, they're humans that have been blasted with so much radiation, they're still alive. I mean, they look, they look like zombies. They look like terrible walking death. They look like zombies, but because they're radiated, they live like forever. 
but it's just at the exchange of, well, you look like you've been alive forever, you know? <laughs> but there's ghouls, there's super mutants, which are basically just, picture, picture the big guy at the gym on even more steroids, and his skin is green. And yeah, they're basically yeah, Incredible Hulk, if you want to, just without all those powers. Visually, they look like the Incredible Hulk. But those guys, not too many of them are friendly. So you gotta fucking, uh, gotta take care of most of them. Oh God, talk about rad scorpions. Radiated scorpions, right? Rad scorpions. They're fucking huge, and when they sting you with their stinger, it hits you with radiation. Isn't that fun? It's fun, isn't it? Just terrible. Just terrible. It's a great game for that. Well, there's like the new genre that's really big right now, survival horror. And you know, it's a lot of this zombie shit. You know, Left 4 Dead I enjoyed. I didn't play Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, God, there's just so many of them now. And those games, shit, the Left 4 Dead games are, pff, I don't know how old. But they've been out quite a damn while. And shit. You know, there's another... Uh, well, I don't want to say that uh, Gears of War is kind of like that. That's just more first-person shooter. Well, no, that's like third-person shooter. But I mean, still, anything where there's a video game, you got to get a gun in your hand. Yeah, there's survival to some aspect of it. But with zombies and all that shit specifically, like undead, that shit is, uh, it's just everywhere now. It's so overkill. Whereas Fallout, while well, it's post-apocalyptic. Now, just the fucking, the local flora and fauna are out to get you. There's just rabid dogs running around. They're blasted with radiation. These fucking things, uh, what the hell are they called? Meyer lurks? Something like that. They're just big, like, walking crab things. But, you know, they're like six feet tall. And they stand more vertical than like a normal crab, but they look crustacean-esque, if that makes sense. You got those fucking things. Out in the deserts of New Vegas, you got geckos, which, well, take any little lizard, but this thing is like three feet tall and can fuck you up. Some of them breathe fire. Haha, <laughs> isn't that nice? Shit, you want to talk about even worse? Just regular fucking ants. Some of those got radiated and blasted, and they're the size of a fucking, you know, good-sized dog. Some of those breathe fire. So these video games are really, I don't want to say innovative to any degree, but creative enough that they're not like everything else. And there's a reason it's such a popular series of video games. Ah, I dig them. It's also got the element of, uh, of RPG role-playing games, where, you know, you, you kill stuff, you gain experience points, and you gain enough experience points, you, you gain a level. Well, what does that do? Well, that makes you stronger, gives you more health points, hit points, whatever you want to call them. So you want to kill things, gain experience, and level up. Along with that, you have skills you can do. Massachusetts license plate right in front of me. Along with that, you, uh, as you level up, you gain, like, abilities and certain perks, if you will. You know, like, whether you're good with explosives, whether you're good with, uh, pistols, whether you're good with rifles, whether you're good with big energy weapons, because remember, post-apocalyptic shit, this is all in the future, plasma rifles, laser pistols, you know, shit like, excuse me, I burped, uh, shit like that. But then you got flamethrowers. Are you good with the heavy weaponry? Flamethrowers and rocket launchers. Are you good at sneaking? Are you good at picking locks? Are you good at hacking computer terminals? Shit like that. But also, your you're just individual ability for like your character. Strength, and it's, they're, they're, what is it? It's special. The acronym is special. Strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, luck. S-P-E-C-I-A-L, right? I, I don't need no hooked on phonics bullshit? Okay. An Ontario plate all the way from Canada. We love you. Driving a Jeep, a 4x4. Cherokee, Grand Cherokee. All the way from Ontario. That's a fucking road trip. There's another one. Are they going to have a uh, Fallout game in Canada? 
I mean, I don't know many places that would make sense other than, like, Toronto, the biggest fucking city they got. I mean, I'm sure there's other things. Ottawa, you know, with the fucking, uh, that's where the House Senate is. That's basically their Washington, D.C. I mean, granted, there may be some of the, the DLC, the downloadable content, where there's, like, extra missions. Some of it, maybe it does take place in Canada. I just, I, I don't know about it myself. I know there's one called, like, uh, Operation Anchorage or some shit like that. So you got Alaska taken care of in one of them. But Canada, because that's a wide open barren wasteland. Can you imagine the polar bears? Woo! Wolves? Oh, yeah. A moose would fuck you up. Imagine a radioactive moose. Hey, Hey, listen, okay? This is some good shit. I think Bethesda, aren't they still making these games? I don't give a fuck if they are or not, but whoever makes Fallout. Hell, Bethesda, steal it if you want to. Radioactive moose in Canada. You know what I'm talking about. That shit could be really awesome. So long-winded, yeah, I'm getting myself ready for the new video game due out in, I believe, November it is. That should be fun. Just enjoy those games. Because, yeah, it's part of the struggle, like, well, like I said, it's part of the role-playing aspect. Do you want to be the the goody two-shoes and help everybody? Or do you want to kind of play the, the badass, the asshole, the villain? And like, well, I'm going to do what I need to do, and then when it's all said and done, maybe I kill you and take uh, take the thing you wanted me to get in the first place. Because, you know, look at it this way. Say say there's a mission where somebody wants you to go. Actually, there was one that I had. Uh, somebody wants you to go uh, literally retrieve the Declaration of Independence. The actual physical fucking paper. It's been lost or whatever. It's uh, he, he wants it in his preservation. And it's, you know, because the D.C. area, while well, all the damn planet's been fucking nuked, you know, nuclear war. But, uh, you know, the D.C. area is all rubble. <clears throat> and, again, the, the guy's telling you, like, well, I kind of, I think it's in this building. So if you could go get it for me, there's a Texas plate. Massachusetts, Texas, and Ontario so far. Not bad. But you, you go into, I forgot which building, and I mean, the, the, the references are pretty accurate as far as what buildings you're going to, and like, I, I guess the, uh, the subway systems within this game are very accurate to what the city itself has, the district. But you go and you get the Declaration of Independence, aha, while you're in that building looking for it, you, you find someone. And you can, you can tag along with them to, like, have an extra gun at your side to help you, you know, kill shit. But then, you know, here here's the object. Like, you got to get the Declaration of Independence and bring it back to this old man who's in a totally different part of town, okay? It's not like he's in the same building. Totally different part of town. Now, look at it this way. If the guy says, you know, I'll give you... And sure, it ain't gonna be a whole shitload. Thousand bucks, two thousand bucks to go get the Declaration of Independence. And there's danger all over the place. Super mutants, there's all kinds of shit. Landmines spread all over the place. You gotta watch your step. Be careful about everything you're doing. If you don't get that, let's just say he offers you a thousand. But you team up with this person you meet with, that hired gun, so to speak. Well, if you both retrieve the thing, a thousand bucks, well, he's like, well, tell you what, I was going to give you a thousand, but since you both survived, here's five hundred for you and five hundred for you, well, that's a fucking ripoff, he promised them a thousand, promised me a thousand, so, to solve things, you can either kill the person you're with, to eliminate that altogether, get the full thousand yourself, or, after you get the, the, the five hundred with your, your gunning buddy, you know, wander out, okay, yeah, here's our money, blah, 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 we're good, that mission is complete, just wander out in the middle of the wasteland, kill your, kill your buddy, take all their money, and all their equipment, how do you choose to go about it, kind of a roundabout fucked up way, isn't it, it's very noir, it's very dark, it's very, 
you know, the happy endings in these games, ah, uh, man, you can twist and turn so many bad ways with shit. But that's just the way it is. You can kind of choose to do whatever the hell you want to do. Well, within the allowances of the game, don't get me wrong, you know. Hey, and there's literally, there's drugs in the game, there's booze in the game. And there are certain things that they add on to, like let's just say you drink, uh, you drink a bottle of whiskey. Well, it ups your strength because, you know, everybody gets stronger when they drink. But, of course, your perception goes down like two points. And, I mean, this is based on a 10 scale. You know, like I said, the special strength, perception, all that shit, that's on a 10 scale. So you drink some whiskey, haha, plus one to strength, but like minus two to perception. Why? Because you're fucking drunk. And you can't, you know, your your aim is not that good on a, on a long shot with your hunting rifle. You need to get up close with a shotgun to do the kind of damage you're looking to do. Or perception also plays into the role of, uh, you kind of have a radar system. And if things are making noise and walking around like you, you can kind of see them on your little your little compass radar. And it shows up as just like a little red blip. So you know that there's a threat nearby. That too is perception. So if you're really drunk and you can't even hear when there's something around, yeah, you're not gonna hear, you're not your little radar is not even gonna indicate that something's nearby. You could round the corner, hey, there's a super mutant with a fucking uh, with a gatling gun, a minigun, or whatever you want to call it that kind of... Why do they call it a minigun when the fucking thing is so huge? You ever notice that? They don't call a rocket launcher a pea shooter. At any rate. Fun shit. But that's just that's just kind of the way of the game. You can choose to kind of be, uh, if you want to be the good guy, the bad guy. Or, and kind of the run that I've been going about has been kind of just that been like, well, I'll do what I have to do to get all the experience for completing the mission, then maybe I kill the person afterwards and take something that I need. So you wanted me to retrieve this? You gave me whatever, yeah, the 500,000 bucks? Okay, here you go. Boom, dead. Ha ha. Now I got what you were looking for and the money that you still had in your pocket and didn't pay me. Okay. And whatever, maybe they got some, uh, some type of healing things. Oh, well, speaking of that, for those not familiar with the game, Wow, post-apocalyptic, all this radiation, the scorpions that sting you and hit you with radiation, holy fuck, that's got to be terrible. It is, but there's literally a, uh, you can be, dare I say, infected with radiation, poisoned with it, and it, it keeps a it keeps a, a counter for you. Uh, basically, if your radiation level gets up to 1,000, you are dead. But however, uh, in 200-point increments... I mean, you can be you can be poisoned with radiation 199 points worth, and there's no drawback. But 200, 400, 600, 800 death. There are yeah, it's like your your agility is worn down because well, fuck, you're you're half a goddamn mutated gimp, and your leg isn't working right. You're you're poisoned. You're riddled with radiation. But same time, there are things that can totally eliminate the radiation from your body. I mean, it looks like an IV, essentially, but it's called, uh, what, there's two things, there's Rad-X and Rad-Away, you know, for radiation. Now, the Rad-X, if I remember right, well, yeah, based on the name, the Rad-X is, uh, they're basically pills, and you take those if you're going to be going into an area that's, uh, filled with radiation. So, you pop these pills, and it's like, it's whatever, it's like plus 50, to your radiation resistance. So, okay, that, that helps to slow down how much of the radiation gets into your body, so to speak. Because all the water in this game, like all the pools of water, the bodies, the lakes, the streams, and all that, all the water is radiated. And it's not that bad if you have to swim through it, but if you dare drink some dirty water, yes, your radiation, and a lot of the things that you find to eat. I mean, you could kill a dog that's out trying to attack you out in the wasteland, and you can literally, you know, eat the dog meat. But because the dog is radiated, if you eat some of that dog meat, guess what? You're going to become, you know, you're going to get a little bit. It's like two points or whatever the case is. It shows you how much radiation you'll get uh, based on what you're consuming. And a lot of the water. You need to look for purified water, which gives you another, it's like plus 10 to your health. 
and your health keeps expanding, you know, as you, as you kind of level up and upgrade things. Your endurance is key to that as well, after, after you do level up. Upping your endurance gives you more health points, hit points. And why do I call them hit points? Well, this is just a back-in-the-day thing, playing Dungeons & Dragons with some friends. And it's like, okay, yeah, well, I, I hit him for eight damage. Okay, so, well, they would, so uh, that was just kind of the thing, hit points. Yeah, a lot of people might call it health points. It's HP either way. Not Hewlett-Packard, we're not talking computers, but... <laughs> Anyway, long-winded once again. But, yeah, so if you if you eat something, it'll show you how much health it will restore and how much radiation it will poison you with. Sometimes you'll find things, hey, there's no problem here with radiation. It could be, could be a purified fucking bit of food, could be purified water, which is always good. Otherwise, I mentioned the Rad X, the pills, there's also this IV-looking thing called Rad Away. And this thing, it, yeah, you just point and click and use it, whatever. But that uh, that will take down your radiation level pretty significantly. Not Maybe not 100 points, but I believe that's also attached to your endurance score. So the higher your endurance score, uh, the higher health upgrade you get upon leveling up, the higher a stim pack restores your health, which that's essentially... That's essentially a free way to, to gain health points without any radiation. And it's literally just a syringe full of fucking goodness. <laughs> but again, that's just another point and click, whatever. Let's just say you have 100 health points. Well, if you got, like, you know, 23 left, yeah, better use a stim pack. Now, how much it restores could be, you know, 40, 50, 60. Kind of depends on your endurance score. So, obviously, on a 10 scale, your endurance... If that's up to seven, eight, nine, yeah, yeah, pretty good. That's gonna work well. The stim pack's gonna work well for you. The rad away is gonna work well to get rid of more radiation. Because, like I said, you can get a thousand radiation before you die. But if you have like four hundred and fifty rad radiation in you, yeah, you're hampered pretty bit. Because every two hundred, that's when the the negative effects come in. Negative to endurance. Negative to uh, probably strength. Negative to perception. A whole lot of shit negative to agility, I'm sure, it just, it literally starts to cripple you, so if you have like 450 rad in your body, and you take a rad away, hey, with good endurance, that shit might take away a good 150, you never know, 200, I try to not get myself beyond that first, that 200 point threshold, because it's just a bitch, you know, it's like you want your character to be as strong as can be, and here you are, oh, radiation poisoning, you know, t yeah, I just hit the 200 mark, and it's like, great, now, like, I don't have enough agility the way it is, now I'm minus one, or minus two, you know, I'm not, I don't have enough strength to be carrying around all this shit, which is another thing, your strength depicts how much, uh, weight you can have for your carrying capacity, so, I mean, you can have, if you can carry 200 pounds, yeah, I mean, is that gonna be, is that gonna be just guns? Well, you gotta carry, uh, armor as well. And backup armor, because if that shit gets bashed in or shot at, guess what? It's becoming depleted. You have to find new armor or just fix up the shit you got. Really interesting shit. You're almost intrigued now, aren't you? Did you forget about the super mutants and the ghouls and the rad scorpions? Well, interesting shit, isn't it? And I've put in plenty of time. I know I got about a minute some left trying to wrap up here because I'm getting close to West Island Drive by the North Perry Airport. But it's interesting shit. If you've never seen it, it might be worth looking out as far as if you go to YouTube and just watch a, a walkthrough, a playthrough, a let's play of Fallout 3 is the one that I'm playing and working on. It's a good one. Just to give you an idea, I mean, if you want to skip through, you know, get towards the middle of the game instead of right away so you don't have to see all the boring story and the startup, maybe you want to check things that way. If the video you're looking at is chopped up into episodes, try to go somewhere in between. You know, if they got 50, go somewhere around 25. You get the idea. To play that game in one walkthrough, I don't know. That would take a long fucking time. I think I'll re-put in, pff, I'd have to look how many hours already. But enough. Well, I've played enough, and this recording is just about enough. It's almost done, pretty much. I mean, shit, what do I got, 15 seconds? Damn. 
guess it's about that time where, till next time, I'll catch your ass down the road. <laughs>